On behalf of the judiciary, I welcome you to the opening of this legal year. For the second time in our history, we open the legal year using a remote conferencing platform. Let me turn next to major developments on the horizon, which fall into three broad categories. The first is the coming into force of our new civil procedural rules. The new rules of court 2021 and the new SICC rules are the product of blue sky thinking informed by international best practices. They reflect our earnest desire to modernize the civil justice landscape. The rules are guided by five worthwhile ideals, namely fair access to justice, expeditious proceedings, cost-effective and proportionate processes, efficient use of court resources, and fair and practical results suited to the needs of the parties. The second set of major developments relates to innovations to support the profession and others seeking to access legal resources and tools. I highlight three of these. First, the new LawNet will be launched this year. This will serve as a single digital hub to access all of the content and services provided by the Singapore Academy of Law. Second, the Singapore Mediation Centre expects to launch an online dispute resolution service towards the end of the first quarter of this year. This will also be accessible to the public and it promises to reduce the cost of resolving lower value cases such as consumer disputes by using technology and automation. Third, we expect to finalize the Data and Digital Economy Specialist Accreditation Scheme in the second quarter of this year. This will expand the opportunities for lawyers to advance their professional competence and standing and provide users of such services with some indication of special experience. The third major development is the imminent restructuring of the existing legal service into the reconstituted Singapore Legal Service and the dedicated Singapore Judicial Service with effect from this Friday, 14th January 2022. The restructuring that will shortly take effect will advance this to the next level and it will enhance the ability of each service to provide specialist training and development. For those in the judiciary, this presents the opportunity to go beyond the adjudication of disputes and embrace the vision of being a part of the national institution entrusted with the administration of justice. A key focus will be to ensure that we can secure a strong pipeline of talent within the judicial service. To this end, one of the most important developments will be to significantly expand the role and the capacity of the Singapore Judicial College. A team led by Justice Philip Jairatnam and Judicial Commissioner Kwek Min Luck, who together bring extensive senior experience in the private and public legal sectors, will look specifically into developing a world-class program for the college. We will concurrently enhance our efforts to professionalize our court administrators who play a vital role in supporting the judiciary. In common with all judicial officers, our court administrators are also supported by the Learn a Judiciary training program. And we are strengthening our supporting infrastructure by developing our knowledge management and corporate communications functions. The profession and our justice system are in a time of transition. The Law Society will be led by a new president and as the separate judicial and legal services come into being, they will each undertake important initiatives to meet the challenges that lie ahead. I am confident that in all this we will continue working together to further strengthen our justice system by moving in the same collaborative spirit that has long served us well. Thank you all very much once again for your presence this morning. On behalf of the judiciary, I wish all of you a happy, healthy and fulfilling new year.